final expense for us has always been our fastball. And it's always been that pitch we know we can locate. If I need to throw a strike, that's our that's our go-to, and it has been. Thus, the name of the podcast, FS Nation, Equita Final Expense Services. Now, FS is part of the mothership, which is the Equita Group. We do annuities. We do Medicare. We do, you know, all these other ancillary sales, cancer, hospital, all these other things. Um, to your point, if you're listening in right now, Josh is giving it to you right now from a high level producer perspective and a tremendous leader perspective. Find your fastball, but diversify. Because at the end of the day, if you can take the one nugget that he just threw out there to you, which just can't be talked about enough, if you can focus on serving, you will start deserving, as the great Brandon Clay says. The more, we, the more we serve, the more we deserve. And so if you don't want to be a one-trick pony, don't try and just go with only final expense. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't create paralysis by analysis by saying, I've got to be the greatest annuity agent. I've got to be the greatest Medicare agent. You're not going to figure it all out. Understand that it's a process. It's iterative. But as you learn, you got somebody like Josh to work with. I mean, you're in good hands. You're going to be able to learn. That's the beautiful part about our business is it's ever evolving. It's ever changing. There's always something new to learn. And no point will we ever be able to kick our feet up and say, hey, I'm done learning. Um, so I just wanted to kind of drive that point home because I thought it was so important. When we first started working together, um, where you were then and where you are today, two different two different animals, two different guys, two different people. Um, the person, the man has always had that heart of gold to take care of people, but you've evolved and you've taken those steps forward. And it's not for any reason other than your effort and your commitment to the business. And I want to talk about that next because, once again, hearkening back to um, talking to agents on a daily basis, being able to kind of figure out, are we a good fit for you? Are you a good fit for us? One thing that I notice is we know that there's no substitute for hard work. For you, Josh, doing what you do at such a high level, what what have you found as you've just shot up? I mean, the amount of production you do is insane. I'm not going to say it's unbelievable. I refuse to use that word anymore. It is believable. <laughs> but what do you what do you attribute to that? I know it's hard work, but how did you get to finding this the system that works for you now in terms of your day to day? Yeah. So what a great question. And so uh, I, I thought I was going to have to say, hey, man, I'm not special to you, but you, you didn't you didn't lean that up. Um, a lot of people would think, oh, when when you see this, like because we have been very, very blessed. I don't I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm, we've been very blessed on the FE sales, but very blessed on the on the Medicare sales and people. Well, they say, well, oh, well, you 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 just have something special. And I go, I really I really don't. I go, there's a, we have a strategy and we have a goal. The strategy is, is we buy leads every single week and we go to work, uh, for I, right now I work Monday through Thursday. And if I need to, I'll work on Friday. Um, one of the best parts about this business is, is I think, and I alluded to this the last time is before I came full time, I was working six days a week. Um, and you know, four and four as a pastor and then two as a, um, two doing insurance. And so now I get to do this. Now I work four days a week. I get to spend more time with my family. Uh, but man, during Monday through Thursday from uh, nine o'clock until about six o'clock, uh, my wife would tell you it might be a little later. And sometimes it is a little later because I'm going to do what I need to do to help our people. Um, and so, but the uh, being a part of Ephesus, I have the lead strategy taken care of. I do that every single week. I never turn our leads off. We buy leads every single week and then we go to work every single day, but our four days a week, Monday through Thursday. And because of that, I would tell you that's the secret sauce. I don't, I, I, you know, there are probably, and Chase, you could speak to this a whole lot better than I could, but there are probably a whole lot of people who go, man, this business can be really, really lucrative. And they go work for two, two or three weeks out of a, you know, a, a month. And the next thing you know, they take two or three weeks off and, and, you know, but to, if you really want to, to see your business grow, man, don't, don't do that. Give your, like, you couldn't do that if you were working in another industry, you would have a week off here, you know, three weeks of vacation or something like that. Like set your personal goals, be personally driven enough to say, no, I'm, I'm building something special here. Uh, but also, um, I'm doing this for others, not just for myself. And so when I'm doing something for others, that means I, if, if I'm driven truly to help and serve others, then I'm going to continue to put myself in the place 
where I can truly help and serve others. Uh, now, if I become very inward focused, inward focused, then yeah, I'll probably stay at home a whole lot more. But that's really not what it's about for me. I didn't get into this industry to go make a whole lot of money. I, I'm, I'm very thankful for the financial blessings that have come. But what I did do is I, I got into this because I wanted to help people. So why would I pull myself out of that? I just want to help people. So the strategy, man, have a good lead system, which we do here at Ephesus. And then just be disciplined enough to go to work. Set your times to go to work. Uh, nine to six, nine to five, whatever you want to do. Um, set that time to go to work and then don't negotiate it with yourself. Yes. Did, don't do that. Don't be the one who talks yourself out of out of uh, your own goal, right? That's 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 literally self sabotage. Don't do the thing that feels good. Do the thing that you know is right. 